What's up guys, Andrew Bainey here, and on today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at the brand new for 2020 Jason Richardson signature model from Sterling by Music Man. We'll get into all the specs of this instrument in just a minute, but first and foremost, I wanna show you guys how this guitar sounds in a full demo mix. I'm gonna be playing basically the only thing that Jason Richardson has ever written that I can actually play, and that is a segment of a song called Don't Ask, Don't Tell by Chelsea Grin. He's no longer a member of this band, but I still really like it. Anyways, it sounds like this. what this guitar sounds like in a full demo mix. We're gonna go over the specs and then I'm also gonna go back and solo different sections of that mix so you guys can hear how this guitar sounds with the different settings with just the guitar and nothing else interfering. So first and foremost, this is of course a seven string guitar. This is a little shorter scale than most seven string guitars. It is a 25 and a half inch scaling, which is the same as most six string guitars. So if you're looking to tune super low, this guitar might not be your thing because it doesn't have that extended scale length. But if you wanna to stick to like drop A, B standard, maybe a little lower than that, this will still definitely do the trick. It's also got this modern tremolo bridge, which is Sterling's own design. This guitar has an alder body with a poplar burl top, which has an awesome satin finish in this kind of black burst around the edges to natural center. It also has a roasted maple neck and headstock along with a rosewood fretboard. It also has locking tuners as well as Sterling's own pickups, which are the Jason Richardson pickups, which were developed specifically for this guitar. So they're not name brand pickups like the Majesty that I tried out, which had DeMarzio's. These are Sterling's own pickups. And last but not least, it also has a three-way pickup selector, which is of course bridge, both, or neck. But it also has two additional features on the volume and tone knob, which are both push-push knobs. So on the volume knob, if you push it, it gives you a 12 decibel volume boost. And on the neck pickup, if you push it, it does a coil split. So if you're on the bridge position, for example, and you coil split, you're using the innermost coil. In the middle, you're using the two innermost coils. And on the neck, you're using the inner neck coil, of course. All right, so now last but not least, I'm gonna show you guys what this guitar sounds like soloed. So we're gonna use the exact same clip that I just showed you in the demo, except it's gonna be the soloed guitars. So that's gonna be the rhythm tone, the clean tone, and the lead tone. And on the screen, I'm gonna let you guys know which pickup position I was in, and if I was using coil tab, volume boost, any of that, it's gonna be all on the screen. So this is how this guitar sounds soloed, like this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
okay guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you're interested in learning anything more about this guitar, there's gonna be a link in the description below as well as the pinned comment. I wanna give a huge shout out to Sterling for sending this guitar over to me for demo. I'm, as usual, very sad that I have to send it back, but it's been a joy to play so far. Um, I'll probably have it for a couple more weeks, so you might see it pop up in another video or two, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's pretty much all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to give an extra shout out to all my Patreon members whose names are on the screen at this point in time. If you guys are interested in getting a shout out on the screen, audio downloads, or stems, you can find all of that on my Patreon page, which is also linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to reading your comments, and I'll see you next time.